Um, hi, I'm Samaj Herbert. I'm doing my topic. Well, my topic is the way revenge and mental disorders affect the minds of serial killers. Um, serial killers let their mental disorders or their thirst for revenge set them on a killing spree in which personal satisfaction is acquired through every life derogated. An act purposely done to an individual typically triggers a desire for revenge from the victim. Certain mental disorders, such as multiple personality disorders and schizophrenia, allow serial killers to manip manipulate and charm victims without empathy. Um, serial killers that are motivated by revenge use way deeper tactics because of more overwhelming anger, implying a certain kind of obsessive attachment to the darker qualities of revenge. And also, they kill without remorse. For example, in 1931, Jane Tompin confessed to 31 murders, and she was found not guilty by reason of insanity. Um, the topic, this topic is a social issue because serial killers are a part of our society, and when caught, consequences are enforced. Since serial killers are society's enemy, this particular issue is bypassed due to the fear that is produced by them. The awareness of human beings' behaviors is not entirely meticulous due to the lack of intelligence. In a society where human beings are brainwashed by the habitual interpretation of what is reputable and what is erroneous, the analysis on the behavior of the individuals considered bad is seemingly nugatory to the unintelligent. So it's beneficial to understand the mind of serial killers. Um, some statistics is a recent study has demonstrated that 20 out of 31 Convest killers are diagnosed as mentally ill. Also, in 2005, it was studied that 36% of serial killers had been physically abused, 26 had been sexually abused, and 50% had, be, had been had been psychological psychologically abused. 68% of serial killers are exposed to some type of mistreatment. Um, this is basically a chart. It's uh, the sources from Radford University. It basically shows the motive of the serial killers. This part shows the enjoyment of serial killers. Um, this is where insanity comes from, is having schizophrenia and stuff, like the little parts for hallucinations. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll focus on common mental disorders that so serial killers have, such as multiple personality disorders, where one personality might kill five people, but then when they're another personality, they might not remember that they just killed that five um, people. Um, some experience, experience, I will also focus on experiences that cause a desire for revenge. Uh, for example, Richard Ramirez, also known as um, the Night Stalker, he broke into homes, raped, and tortured more than 25 victims. But his influence was his cousin, who was a soldier who had returned from the war in Vietnam and start, shared stories about the torture and mutilation he inflicted on Vietnamese women. Triggering, triggering a, a desire to do the same. Some may argue that since serial killers are society's enemy, it is unnecessary to study them. My greatest tool will be books focusing on mental disorders serial killers have and movies that focuses on revengeful serial killers or serial killers' minds in general. Um, you, all, you all might have watched the movie Hannibal before, but basically he encouraged and influenced one of his victims, who was a homosexual, to um, slice his own face and rip it off. So basically, the, not, the analysis on the mindset of serial killers is not fueled by a goal for justification. A notable in individual must dwell the depths of serial killers' minds to consummate the com capability to apprehend the perception of a murderer. And that's what I would do. Um, are you going? Are you going to look at uh, how we as a society punish serial killers? Yeah, that's um, where the counter argument comes in. Some may think that since you know serial killers are so you know bad and well they are, but they feel like they don't need to you know understand the minds of them but i feel like my argument is we should understand them since they're they are society's enemy and um that will you know help us understand the punishment of that they received so. are you going to look at how we as a society 